Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday, Saturday morning? morning? We just got done with basketball for today, huh? Yep. Well, I made a shot. Sean made his first basketball shot. How awesome is that? He all, he all turns around and points kind of at us. He's like, yeah, I'm hot stuff, huh? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, we got the kids basketball out of the way. Now I got a little video I've been wanting to do for a little bit. So uh, they're going to be playing in the background probably. And we're going to hop into this video. And we're Woo! practicing. You're practicing, yep. Because yeah, practice you makes what? Perfect. Perfect. Now even though, you even though perfect is unattainable, but you can get as close to perfect as possible. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We're working on our defense defense all right guys so just pulled the truck over here the kids are riding their bikes now i had to give them their bikes so they quit dribbling the ball or it'd be very annoying throughout the video got to get the garage cleaned out first here real quick Hit your front brake when you're going really fast it'll throw you over the handlebars you guys ever just notice how fast trash and just garbage just piles up like it's ridiculous like you don't even notice it <laughs> and then you go to clean up your garage and you're like holy moly what am i doing here like i have junk everywhere so yeah i'm a little bit sidetracked right now because i got this a lot of little things i got to pick up but i'm gonna finish that first and then uh we'll hop into the video Alright guys, so I had to come in the house here. I was actually in the middle of cleaning up the garage. TQ came out. We were kind of just sitting there talking and boom, I got hit with a kidney stone in my side, guys. Started giving me a lot of pain and just really, really, just, if you've never had a kidney stone before, it's hard to explain, but it's like a really sharp, almost like a needle going into your side. And uh, I just get them. It's hereditary. It's It's nothing, there's nothing I can do to get rid of them. I've tried everything. I've tried uh, drops. I've tried pills. I've tried e getting rid of calcium. I've literally tried everything, huh? It just hits them. My dad, my dad gets them a lot. My brother gets them. I get them, and they just come out of nowhere. So if you can see, I'm, I'm sweating. It's because it hurts a lot. Now, don't mind. You're gonna hear the kids in the background. They're playing their games and stuff with their friends. But TQ was like, "Hey, I got a, a video idea on my mind." I think it could add a lot of value to some of our subscribers. So it might not be for everybody, but some of you might learn to, uh, learn from this video. So uh, basically, I'm going to act as if I'm a customer, and TQ is going to explain the process that we currently use for billing, how we bill, and just all of that. So ring, ring, ring. Thank you for calling Spencer's Lawn Care. How can I help you? Hi, I wanted to get a price. To, uh, to mow my lawn, uh, just mow it, trim it, and clean it up. Okay, basically, whenever a customer asks us to do that, we typically like to see the property mm -hmm. because um, you may tell them, oh, well, you might, you want to ask them, how many acres is it? Mm -hmm. Someone tells you it's like half an acre. Won't take any time at all, really, but half an acre could have a trampoline on it, a swimming pool, a swing set all kinds of things that would need extra trimming around. So that's more time. So we generally like to look at the property. Um, sometimes we use Google Maps, but Google Maps doesn't always show that trampoline or- Google Maps, Google Earth. Yeah, sorry, Google Earth. Um, uh, doesn't always show that trampoline, that swimming pool or whatever. So we tip typically like to show up on property and- Okay, so you have to come out to my property and take a look. Absolutely. Okay, this is my address. Uh, you know, do I need to be here? You don't have to be here. What if I want to be here? Uh, well, then we'll set up a good time for us to both meet. Okay. Each other. Okay. I don't. I guess I don't have to be there. My, you know, I, I don't have to be there. I, I, you know, you guys can come just take a look, and uh, you know, will you email me? Will you text me? What do you? How do you get back in contact with me? However you prefer. <laughs> um, generally, we'll ask. You know, is this a good contact number? Because sometimes they just they call from a work phone, and mm -hmm. that's generally not a good contact number. So I'll I'll get a good contact number. Um, or an email, so that's typically how we would 
Okay, I would like for you guys to email me my estimate. Will that be fine? That would be perfect. Okay, here's my email. Okay, okay thank uh, you. I do also have another question. Uh, what kind of payments? Do you guys take credit cards by chance? We do. We take credit cards, checks, and cash. Okay. Uh, do you guys, how do you, say I wanted to use my credit card. Uh, you know what? No, I'd like to, no. I'll leave a check under the mat. No, that would be inconvenient. This is how it goes, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh Okay, so if I want to put a give you guys my credit card, how does this work? Do you guys keep my credit card information? Do you write it down? How do you what do you guys do with my credit card once I give it to you or how does that process work? Now currently we use a square program mm -hmm. um, for any credit card payments. Um, and that is stored internally with Square. We don't see all the information, the card information. Oh, so you don't see all of my credit card numbers? Nope, last four digits, that's it. Okay, so if I give you my email and you send me a bill, uh, you know, can do I have to give you my credit card information? Can I pay it online? Do How does that work? I can send you an invoice straight from Square. Okay. And you can have that option to enter in a credit card number. Okay. And you have that option also to save it yourself. Okay. You don't always have to save it. I can I can email you an invoice every single time after every service, and you can just pay it that way, or you can, like I said, you can uh, leave your credit card there. Okay, so I'm going to give you my credit card on file, okay? Uh, or I'm going to give you my credit card number. Uh, but this, is, this is where I'm kind of confused, though, okay? So you're going to send me my invoice. I'm going to put my credit card information in there, now, can you see that credit card number? No, I cannot. Uh, what can you see of that credit card number? Um, I believe it's just the last four digits. Okay. Um, I think I can see the expiration date of it. Okay. Um, and then just your, you know, billing information, like your name and your address and stuff like that. Okay, so if I pay that, will I get a receipt? Will you call me? How, how does that all work? You'll get a, an email. A okay. receipt via email. So as soon as I pay it, I'm going to get an email and it's going to say, you paid Spencer's Lawn Care $40, yada, yada, yada. Yep, that is correct. Okay, very nice. I like that option. Mm -hmm. It's very convenient. Uh, what if I need to change a credit card? Like, uh, you know, sometimes they go dead or, you know, maybe my credit card limit gets maxed out and we need to switch it to another one. Can I do that? Or, uh, you know, will it take that payment automatically? Or how does that work? Um... Now, typically, it will alert me if you, there's a card that is expired. Okay. So then I will just notify you, hey, the card you have on file is expired. You can go in and enter a new enter one. Enter in a new one, yes. Okay, very nice. I like that option a lot. So uh, I'm going to go with you guys. I like your price. Uh, I'm going to do the credit card uh, option there. So now whenever you email me from the business, will that come from the Square app or where... Where will that come? Where will my bill come from? So whenever uh, you know I get my email, I should be looking for it. Well, honestly, right now we have two um, platforms we go from. We go from Annex, okay, invoices or Square. Okay. Now, initially, we started with Annex. Annex was just an invoice estimate, um, and then over time, it did add on. You can pay from that invoice. Mm -hmm. So there is an option you can pay by credit card with that invoice. Okay. That's your control. It, we don't have control over what you, what you pay. That you enter it in manually. You pay it from there. It doesn't save anything. That's just you entering it. That one time payment, basically. Okay. Um. But then, like the square. You and how do you how do you spell annex? A N Y. Shoot. Y A X. Yeah. Believe so. <laughs> and Y X. Yeah. And that that subscription does cost how much a month? It was nine ninety five. Okay. But just recently, within the last few months, went up to 15 a month. $15 so, a month? Yeah. That's an option, though. That's a cheap option if you don't have some way of sending invoices or, you know, whatever. Even if you don't accept credit cards, you can still use that to do check or cash or however mm -hmm. you want to, you know, accept your bills or whatever. But uh, back to this whole customer situation. Now, I will say, though, um, they, like with Square, they, you, they get a percentage of the payment. Yeah. Annex does not. Yeah. Um, because you pay that monthly subscription fifteen dollars a month, they don't take an extra percentage off for a credit card payment. So. What we've tend to notice though, guys, mm -hmm. is if we just roll that fee, you know, a couple bucks, two, three bucks, whatever it is, if we just roll that into the bill, a lot of customers are perfectly fine with it, and a lot of companies that you purchase things through, uh, if you don't spend a certain amount, they actually make you pay for that. So say mm -hmm. 
Have you guys ever seen the signs where they say, oh, you have to spend $5? That's because they're at least covering that fee because sometimes if you don't spend, say you spend a dollar and you charge it, it's going to actually cost them more to process it right. than what they're going to make from the transaction. So back to the customer situation, you guys just pulled up to my house. We have not done any credit card information yet. I have not been charged anything yet. You guys are about to service my house for the very first time. How, how do you go about the payment process now? Okay, initially we would already establish whether we want to do credit card check, yada yada. So this customer in particular wants to do credit card on file. We already have all that information stored. Typically we go in, charge the card, get payment before service. Mm -hmm. Because if that card gets declined before service, we won't provide the service. We would actually, um, if the customer's home, we would try to uh, you know, address that situation. Like, hey, your card got declined, what's going on here? Sometimes they'll just pay check or give me cash. You know, Another credit card. Yeah, something like that. Um, Generally it's something really simple. They fix very quickly. Yeah, but we typically like to get payment before service. Yeah, we'll try to call them, email them, text them. Uh, if I know it's a good customer, like they've been around a long time, we'll go ahead and provide the service. But if, say, for instance, like this customer, I'm brand spanking new. We don't know each other. You know, we don't know nothing, okay? Mm -hmm. So you pull up or the service gets charged, okay? Yep. So how does that go? How's that whole process go? You just charge my card? Yep, I can go in. It's pretty much, uh, you go to check out. Okay. Um, create, create it, put in the price. Um, now you can add tax, not tax. Um, initially we had tax it obviously. Mm -hmm. So we add tax and push submit and it should e email you right away. Yep. Here in the state of Ohio guys, we have to charge, I believe it's off the top of my head, like 5.5 or 5.6, 5.5, something like that, whatever it is. You have to charge tax on it because you're providing a service. Now that is not the same everywhere guys. Some places you don't have to. Here we do because we have to pay that tax. It's sales tax. That's what it is. Uh, it's through the state, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much our payment process. It's very simple. Yes, you do have to pay that fee. And a lot of people don't want to use it, but we find it very convenient for us. And we haven't found anyone else yet that provides a cheaper fee, I guess you could say, and as, as easy as Square. So mm -hmm. it's, it's always worked for us. We've never had an issue with it. Nobody's ever been hacked. Nobody's ever been compromised. We don't get the full card information. So therefore, that relieves a lot of liability on our half. Uh, and it also gives customers a peace of mind that we don't have their full entire credit card. Like, like I said earlier, you know, we don't know each other, you know, as a new customer, new uh, service provider. We don't know each other from Adam. A lot of valuable information in this video here, guys. This is more probably geared towards uh, somebody newer into the business or maybe somebody that just doesn't know how to collect payments or, you know, it's transitioning from cash only or check only and wanting to use credit cards. Because I'll tell you what, when we switched over to credit cards and debit cards, mm -hmm. our business literally probably doubled, you yeah. know, and it's so, so convenient. Pull up, provide the service, collect payment or collect the payment, provide the service, however you want to do it. Uh, once you establish that customer, I you can do it either way. I think it's more simple on both ends, really. For sure, as far for sure. As payment, so... A lot of valuable information. Thank you, Tiki, for uh, no for sharing that with us. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm in a lot of pain right now, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this. I've taken or I've taken three Tylenol, so we'll see uh, how they do as they kick in here. But uh, yeah, a lot of valuable information. Take from it what you want. Comment down below if you have any other ideas or how you do your invoicing or estimates or whatever you guys do. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Tiki, you out. Peace.